Hi, my name is Kirk Switek, and we're here today with my Ember Red and Snow White 1958 Etzel Villager Wagon. 1958 was the first year for the Etzel brand. A um, couple unique features is the horse collar grille that you see on the front. Also, the boomerang tail lights were only for the 1958 Etzel wagons. Um, a lot of people would use these horse collar grills and these tail lights on their custom hot rods, trucks, you see them everywhere, but where that originated from was the 1958 Etzel wagon. The car is all original, it's unrestored, it's got original paint. Uh, one of the cool features is that it has original hood ornament on the car. Those are really rare to find on any Etzel. Um, they would blow off a lot of times or break on highway speeds on the cars. Going into the interior, uh, got original floor mats on the car, uh, original two-tone interior, but even the spare tire is original on the car. It says Race Texaco on it. Under the hood, I've kept it all original with the Ford 361. This is actually the E400, which stands for the torque rating of the car. The transmission is a three-speed with the optional Teletouch factory installed system. And the way that this works is there's actually a push-button gear selector in the middle of the steering wheel where you have park, reverse, neutral, drive, and low gear. Um, a lot of times these were really temperamental, and that's why a lot of people would, you know, put their Etzels in the junkyard because these wouldn't work anymore. Mine actually had a floor mounted shifter. That's what a lot of guys would do too. And since then I've gone over and reworked the whole system and that's what kind of makes it unique. What sets this car apart is the fact that it not only has a Teletouch system, but that it works. Something else that grabbed me on the car was a floating speedometer. It's just something different and it just screams, you know, new technology for back in 1958. And it's also something you don't really see nowadays on cars. Obviously something that was really important to me was the amount of cargo space. Uh, this wagon offers more than enough space to fit all my drums in, all my musical instruments, plenty of room and even room for a couple friends and a cooler. Driving this car is a great experience, you know, rolling down the highway. This car didn't come with air conditioning, but you really don't need it. With all the windows down, the airflow, it's just a great experience. The weekends, you know, cruise, you know, 550 miles in a weekend, no problem, up and back. It's just a great, great ride. When people see the car, uh, it takes them back, definitely. They remember Etzel as a big figure um, in the car industry and they also remember its epic fail too as well But it's just great to you know have a car like that that has the history and To keep it running now today and you know 2012 this car is still running strong and it will be for another 20 years This car was intended to be fully packed and driven across America's highways and now in 2012 um, Carrying on the tradition with the same concept and driving it every weekend and lowering it to the brim and having a good time with it.